Boo! Hi there. This is Michael, and I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the Seven Step System to Pass the TOEFL IBT. And you made a comment over at my website here. I'm going to just use your initials uh, Z for privacy purposes. So you said, uh, I want to register to your course. I don't know how to do it. I tried to find information but couldn't. Can you say how to do it step by step? How much does your course cost? Will I pay every month or one time for the course? My level is upper intermediate. I want to get a high score. What should I do in order to get a high score? Can you give me a video comment? What advices will you give me in all sections? I mean, reading, writing, speaking, and listening. All right, so step by step. You ready? Your first step is go back to my course at onlinetoefelcourse.com and go to the home page. It'll say onlinetoefelcourse.com. That's your first step. Okay, now once you do that, we'll take a look at the next step. The next step is... Millions of students annually let's click take on the that. TOEFL exam to demonstrate their academic English language profit. So I'm going to click on the link that says join. That's your next step. Now, once you get on this web page, this is where you learn about my payment options and PayPal and all of that. So, you want to click on the subscribe button, number one. Number two, create your PayPal account. Number three, make your payment. And then you'll get a password and username. And then you can start your online TOEFL course. That's exactly how it works. Now, let me go back to your question. So your question has to do with the price. So what you're doing is you're creating what's called a subscription to my course. You will be billed automatically every 30 days. So if you buy my course today, today is uh, October 31st. If you buy the course today, then the billing cycle will go until the next month, which is uh, November 30. I don't think there's a, no a November 31st, but the billing cycle is about every 30 days. Now, what you want to do is when you no longer need to use my course, you need to cancel your subscription at your PayPal account, and you'll no be no longer billed. Now, if you get billed and you, and you don't want to pay for that additional month, then you can send me an email and I can cancel the payment and I can refund your payment for that particular month. So it's no problem, right? PayPal allows me to issue refunds up to 60 days, right? So that's kind of what you need to do. Now, to get a high score, and I don't really know what that means to you. I mean, what does it mean? A high score is relative. Some people want to get 61. Others want to get 80. Other people want to get 95. And still others want to get 100. Other students want to get 110. So a high score doesn't really mean a lot to me. But let's assume that you want to get over 100, right? Let's assume you want to get over 100 right now. And your level is upper intermediate you're probably looking at four to six months of using my course if you want to reach that goal based on your current English language abilities. Right? So my recommendation for you is the first thing you can do is complete the lessons in the pronunciation, vocabulary, and grammar sections. Do that first. Maybe for the first month or two. And then complete the listening and the reading parts of my course. That'll be another month or so and then complete the writing and speaking areas. My advice for you, Z, is anywhere from two to four hours of day practice. I think that's going to be very helpful for you. Now, what you can do is, about three or four weeks before you take the TOEFL test, you can take a full-length IBT practice test on my website so you can measure your progress. Now, three things are going to happen if you take a full-length IBT practice test. Number one, you'll mark your progress. You'll understand what your score is. You'll get subtotals in the speaking and the writing area so you can have a chance to mark your progress. 
Number two, you get more familiar with the format and the structure of the TOEFL IBT. Number three, you will build the strength and stamina that you need for a 5.5 hour TOEFL exam. Remember, the TOEFL exam is quite long and you should take some practice tests in order to simulate the conditions that you will take when you're taking the TOEFL exam. So if after, once you take the practice test, if that score is close to what your goal is, then you're ready. If it's not close to your goal, here's a general rule. Here's what you can think about. It takes most students about for every 30 days, if you're studying three or four hours every day, they will probably make about five to ten points of improvement for each month that they study. That's what you're looking at. All right, Z? Anyway, thank you very much, and all the best to your high-scoring TOEFL success.